The Northrop A-17, a development of the Northrop Gamma transport aircraft, was an American single-engine, single-seat monoplane light bomber built in the mid-1930s. The A-17 filled a need in the U.S. Army Air Corps for a modern, fast and reliable light bomber that could deliver precision strikes and support ground troops effectively. At the time, the Air Corps' light bomber squadrons were primarily equipped with biplane models like the Keystone B-6, which were slower and had a lower payload capacity compared to the monoplane designs that were starting to dominate the aviation world. Northrop's A-17 was designed to address these deficiencies, providing a higher speed and larger bomb load than the biplanes it was intended to replace. In terms of manufacturing specifications, the Northrop A-17 was about 31 feet long, with a wingspan of approximately 47.7 feet. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney R1535 Twin Wasp Junior radial engine with 825 horsepower, it was capable of a top speed of around 220 miles per hour and had a range of roughly 1,070 miles. The aircraft was designed for a crew of two, a pilot and a rear gunner. The pilot was situated in a fully enclosed cockpit, while the rear gunner's position was initially open, but was later enclosed in some variants. The gunner's role was to operate the 30 caliber Browning machine gun in the rear of the aircraft for defense against enemy fighters. As a light bomber, the A-17's main armament was its bomb load. It was equipped with an internal bomb bay that could carry up to 1,100 pounds of bombs. Additionally, it had provisions to carry small bombs or auxiliary fuel tanks under the wings. The aircraft was also armed with a fixed forward-firing 30 caliber Browning machine gun located in the nose of the aircraft for strafing. There were several variants of the A-17, each with minor modifications. The initial production version, the A-17A, featured a new engine and the addition of flaps to improve takeoff and landing performance. The A-17AS was a staff officer transport version with a second seat in the rear instead of the gunner's position. Export models of the A-17, designated 8A, were sold to several countries including Sweden, Norway and South Africa, each with minor differences tailored to the customer's needs. By the time World War II began, the A-17 had largely been phased out of frontline service in the U.S. Army Air Corps. It had been replaced by more advanced light bombers, such as the Douglas A-20 Havoc and the Martin B-26 Marauder. However, the A-17 still saw some use in secondary roles, including training and target towing. Some A-17s were also used for coastal patrol duties early in the war. Overseas, the A-17 saw more combat service. Swedish and South African A-17s in particular saw action in the early years of World War II. The Swedish A-17s, known as the B-5 in Swedish service, were used as dive bombers during the early stages of the war, while the South African A-17s, designated the Model 8A-4 in South African service, were used in the East African campaign against Italian forces. Despite its relatively short service life and limited combat use, the Northrop A-17 holds an important place in the history of US military aviation as one of the first monoplane light bombers used by the Army Air Corps. Its speed, payload and ease of maintenance represented significant improvements over the older biplane bombers it replaced and it helped pave the way for the more advanced bombers that would play such a critical role in World War II.